Bocas del Toro, Panama's Caribbean Wild West, is full of geographic anomalies. Remnants of a violent and chaotic birth immediately noticed in its young, raw, and untamed landscapes. Here, where the 11,400-foot ridge of the Talamanca Mountains rapidly cascades to the depths of the Caribbean Basin, all life zones known to the tropics exist, creating an adventure wonderland with a set of ecosystems and habitats as diverse as the specially adapted flora and fauna that thrive in its existence. This is one of the most extreme biodiversity hotspots on the planet, and these incredible habitats are where we choose to explore our source of countless adventures, both past and those to come. As nature lovers, bird watchers, wildlife photographers, and even naturalists, I often find in the pursuit of our targets, we sometimes overlook the big picture. It's easy to get tied up in the micro view of your surroundings when you're looking through binoculars, a camera lens, or a scope in search of some small, beautiful critter hidden in a literal forest. I know, I'm guilty. But sometimes, when the habitat is just perfect, what you're looking for can be so abundant that taking in the experience is a completely different perspective. You become a part of the scene, not just some outsider peering into a hidden world. If you spend enough time in nature, there will come an experience so special, you feel compelled to put down your equipment because you'll find it only detracts from the spectacle. Bird Island is one of those places. Even seasoned wildlife watchers feel the urge to capture the moment. But after a few frantic attempts, they often realize that they're trying to capture a scene and a story that can't be told, only experience. It's then that they decide to set their gear down and immerse themselves in the action. Why don't you drop a comment down below and let us know where you were the last time you set your gear down and took it all in. Also known as Swan's Cay, or Isla de Pajaros, the island and its satellites are located on the northern edge of the archipelago and composed vertically of three main components that sharply jut from the sea. The bottom consists of sandstone and shelly siltstone, while the midsections are of clay siltstone and shell hash. The upper reaches are formed of limestone and crowned in a thick coral bed. Dense tropical foliage cascades from the top to bottom, offering superbly photogenic backgrounds for those who can't put down their cameras. Now everybody's got their own style while trying to capture images, but all too often, the action itself makes it difficult to focus on a single subject. Every once in a while, the wildlife is so close you need a macro lens. It doesn't really matter how you do it. When everything comes together, opportunities abound. On this adventure, it's always the same in the end. Everyone puts down their equipment and absorbs the significance of the entire scene all at once. As I said, I'm often guilty of birding with the target in mind. And on this adventure, the red-billed tropic bird is the undisputed star of the show. It was first described by Carl Linnaeus in his landmark 1758 edition of Sistema Natura and still bears its original scientific name, Phaethon Aetherius, Greek and Latin for heavenly sun. The stunning version here is actually a subspecies, P. A. mensonata, and was not described until 1930 from a single adult female sample taken from Almirante Bay in Bocas del Toro by James Peters. Red-billed tropic birds usually only call when present in nesting colonies, where groups numbering in the 20s circle around the area making loud and harsh chatter followed by intermittent screeching. 
They nest in cavities located on isolated offshore cliff faces, and the majority of their time is spent searching the ocean for flying fish and squid, often hunting over schools of feeding pelagic fish. Their graceful dives from above are painfully accurate as their prey is forced to the surface from the ravished predators below. I hope you're enjoying our content, and please know that in taking a moment to subscribe and share our videos with other nature lovers, you are helping us to protect this surreal region just by bringing awareness to its existence. To us, every set of eyes matters and we truly appreciate your support.